That is a very sharp knife. Excellent, of course, for peeling potatoes. But it's excellent for something else as well. As a paper knife, let me show you. Take a piece of newspaper, fold it over to get a crease in it, and you can see how sharp that knife is by the way it just slips through there very cleanly. A sure sign of a good sharp knife. Well, let's take one of those and fold it again and try something different. What do you think will happen if we put the knife into that fold there, being very careful, and put the potato on the chopping block there, put the knife in the paper on top of the potato, and then press? Surely it's going to cut its way through the paper and then through the potato. Well, let's give it a go and see. Here goes. Seems extraordinary, doesn't it? But in fact, it's cut through the potato, but not through the paper. It's completely unharmed, although it's gone soggy and soft in the middle. Seems extraordinary, but it really does work. Why does it work? Well, think about this. When it's cutting the paper, the force on one side is very much greater than the force on the other. See, I'm pushing from this side. The force is very great from inside the paper. There's no force on the other side, so the knife goes through the fibres. But when we do this, the knife's pressing with one force on this side of the paper, but the potato is pressing with equal force on the other. So the paper's carried through between them. Let's give it another go. And there we are, completely unharmed. Take care, it's a sharp knife, but give it a go. You'll see it works. I want to know. Curiosity.